Red Feather from Grepax. In this credit video, we will be showing you how to take any image or drawing and turn it into a vector layer. Notice the image on my canvas. That appears to be a drawing. Although, it could be, but it is not. It is actually an image turned into a charcoal image utilizing Kadeen Live. The object of this video is to show you how to take these, this image or an image you have drawn, bring it into Krita, and turn it into a vector layer for further manipulation. Or, if you choose not to use the vector layer process, how to clean up the odd spots of the image caused by the sun and or the reflections. But first, let us look at the original image. Notice the sun coming across the car, as well as the reflections in the car, because of the light, as well as the tree line. These will cause discrepancies within our image, once changed to a charcoal look causing lines, among other things. If you are not drawing your own image and have made your charcoal version as I did in Kadeen Live, take a screenshot of it and save it as a PNG, if not already. If you would like to learn how to change an image into a charcoal image, please see our Kadian Live video, Kadian Live, how to change any image into a charcoal image. Once this is done, import your image or drawing into Krita, then create a vector layer. Adjust the opacity on the image layer, then go into the Krita toolbox and click on the freehand tool. Start tracing your image on the vector layer. Notice on our Krita canvas, with the vector layer highlighted, there are some lines that are straight. Therefore, they do not need the freehand tool. For this, we just used the line tool. If you choose not to use the vector layer process for whatever reason, by knowing what the image looked like, you can tell what lines belong and easily clean up the image of the lines that do not belong within Krita. Adjusting the uh, Krita brush size from time to time, and if you accidentally paint over a line that you do not want to, you can use the undo function of Krita, or just paint it back later. While working on the vector layer, if you think your opacity for your background image layer needs to be lowered, you can change this at any time by right-clicking the Krita layer that needs to be changed, going to the properties, and lowering the opacity slider bar. I hope you have enjoyed this credit tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. 
<laughs> I mean, after all, ladies and gentlemen, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.